Hey everybody, thank you for coming back to my channel today. So I wanted to bring you guys another wedding series video. I'm having so much fun filming these for you guys. So I thought today would be a really great day to do a really casual video and just like an exciting video. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys I'm gonna say about half of the things that I've gotten so far that are wedding related or wedding day. So these are all things that I'm using to either prepare for the wedding day or that I'm gonna use on the wedding day, things I'm gonna wear on the wedding day, things I'm gonna use, stuff like that. Things I have used to prepare for the wedding day. Like there's just like a bunch of like random wedding day, wedding prep things in this video. This is more accessories, tools, resources, stuff like that some makeup products just random things um and then next i'm gonna film a haul of just my clothing that i've worn so i'm gonna film all the dresses that i got for showers bachelorette party um all the shoes that i've got rehearsal dinner um like honeymoon stuff i just have a ton of stuff. i might even switch that into two videos like one for wedding day one for honeymoon stuff so let me know what you would prefer but I want these videos to just be fun so today I'm just gonna focus on like the random little things and this isn't everything some of the stuff I've been keeping at Brett's just to kind of like keep everything a little bit organized so this is not everything by any means but I just wanted to show you guys what I've been accumulating and things I'm going to use and stuff like that I'm just so excited so none of this is in any order and I also want to say you don't really need any of this. You don't need any of this to have a beautiful wedding day or a beautiful marriage or anything like that. This is just what things that were important to me, things that are exciting to me that I'm using. But in no way is this video me saying you need to get this, this and this to have the perfect wedding day. Not at all. These are just little random things that I've been accumulating. Some of this was sent to me. Um, so yeah, <laughs> let's just go ahead and get it started. I want to start with some of the tools I've been using to plan wedding plan and marriage plan so i have this kind of whole thing right here that i always bring around with me the first thing i have is the not yours truly it's just a it's like almost like a book of pinterest photos oh that breeze feels good it's hot in here <laughs> but there's just so many like beautiful inspiration things in here this goes through everything like we learned so much from this book like it goes through place cards, bouquet, table settings, um, dress, stuff like that, invites, like what all to put in the invite, how to pick out your florals to go with your venue. Like they're just, there's so much inspiration and ideas in here. So I love this. I'll link everything that I can down below for you guys. But this has just been such a useful tool to have. Um, and I think it's a really pretty coffee table book, so that's why I wanted to get it in the first place. I was like, oh, that's really pretty, but then once we read it, we were like, oh my god, there's so much good stuff in here. So I love The Knot, yours truly. The next thing is also from The Knot, and it is The Ultimate Wedding Planner. So we bought this, like, right after we got engaged, and it was really helpful at that time. I don't really look at it anymore because we're kind of done wedding planning. Like, now we did it all. Now we're just kind of figuring out little details. But in the beginning, this was actually really helpful. I really enjoyed having it. It's extremely organized, so if you are an organizer person, like, you would love this. And um, it really helped us have checklists and make sure we're, like, just, like, staying on track. There's also inspiration in here and um, just, like, a lot of resources. Um, it just kind of helps you decide like where to place your budget, um, what else is in here, um, how to pick your photographer, how to pose for photos, um, what type of flowers to get, there's just a lot of good stuff in here um, and it was really useful to have so I'm really glad I got this but like I said I don't really use it that much anymore but it's just kind of nice to have like all of our memories like everything we wrote down in here it's just kind of nice to have that and then this was actually useful too. It's just a binder. I think I picked it up at Home Goods, and it's from Bando, and it says I am very busy. And in here is where we have just been keeping any paper or any folder or anything we've gotten from vendors or from our venue. Anything wedding related always ends up in this binder or near this binder for me. So that's how I've been um, kind of trying to stay organized. So. I love having this and I got it in like the really pretty like bridal blue like Tiffany blue color traditional bridal blue color so I thought that was really nice to have and then other little things that I got I just got these little um, Kate Spade folders I haven't used them all but I have used a couple of them um, they're just really cute I got these also at home goods I just think it's nice to have these just to stay organized and you can like put these in your little binder 
And then another thing that I loved having, I think this is, oh no, this is Lily Pulitzer. It's just a notebook um, also from Home Goods, And I just liked the gold writing. It just looked bridal to me, but it says something about like the Lily Pulitzer story. <laughs> Not bridal at all, but I thought it looked really bridal. So in here, I just have a bunch of notes. Like I brought this when I went dress shopping and had all my notes of like things that I was looking for in my dress. Um, I brought this to like our food tasting and like our venue walkthrough, just like everything. Like it just has this just had all my notes because so much is going through your head when you're wedding planning. So for me, I love to write things down. So I have a couple notebooks now, but this was the first one that I got. And in here, I just also have some papers and stuff. Um, but I also, let me get to it. I went and bought a bunch of the Knot magazines and all the wedding magazines when I was looking for my dress and just picked out a bunch of um, like dress inspiration and actually like just like tore it out of the magazine and then had it in that little notebook also it's like just beautiful decor like any inspiration I just wanted it all physically like in my hands like not on my phone like I, I physically wanted it I don't know why I just really liked that so I have a couple things like that in here but yeah I just loved having this little notebook to have everything in and then a couple books that we got we both got the five love languages by gary chapman and then we also read um what's it called things i'd wish i'd known before we got married oh my gosh that book is so interesting like we read it tried to read it together and then after we went through and talked about all the questions together and it was so fun to do and we were like before we have kids we kind of want to do it again like it was just so fun so I haven't started this one yet but I definitely want to I've only heard good things and like we talk about love languages all the time but we've never read the book so we're like maybe we should read the book and then I got um another cute notebook this was from Kate Spade I found it on Amazon I haven't been able to really find it again but it looks like a little license plate it just says bride to be New York happily ever after so cute I think that's all like my stationary type of stuff that I got and I want to show you the shirt that I have on it's a really cute blue sweater and it just says I said yes it's kind of oversized really cute my mom actually picked this up for me one of her friends is like a boutique owner and was selling this so she picked it up for me I thought it was really cute I'll try to find the boutique and list it down below for you guys as well okay this next product I'm super excited about so I've been wearing this product and using this since last november so a few months and i love it it's so good for your posture i'm just obsessed let me get it all situated the right way so it is a waist trainer <laughs> i love this thing i got the really cute camo print but they have other colors it's from a brand called snatched girls it's available on amazon and they have the website i will link it all down below but I'm obsessed with this. It really is helping me have a really good posture, first of all, which I love because I really struggle with that. Working from home, I sit like at my couch or at my desk all day. I don't have good posture, so I wear this when I sit. Um, I could film a whole video about how I wear this and what it's done for me, and I love it. So it's just a waist trainer. It's really comfortable. It's really helping me achieve that like really hourglass look. Um, that I want in my wedding dress like that I naturally have but this just kind of like helps I don't know it's really cool so I'll leave their um, website down below so you can read all about it but I just love this one it's really comfortable such good quality such good material like it's really thick I just love it so this is from Snatch Girls waist trainer I feel like everyone should have a waist trainer even if you like just gave birth and like you're trying to like kind of it's really comfortable to wear it just kind of like holds everything in which I really love so I've been wearing this for a while. I don't wear it every single day, but I wear it often and I just love it. Okay, and while we are talking about undergarments, I have my garter right here. It's really cute. This is from Hanky Panky at Nordstrom. Um, and it comes in a really nice like keepsake box. So it comes with two. So one Brett like throws and then um, one that I keep. So this is the one that Brett is going to throw. It's just white lace and then it has these two little... Um, like ribbon roses on it I don't love this one so I'm glad he'll throw this one but this one I love so it's a little bit thicker white lace and then it has a blue ribbon all around it and then like a little rose and bow I just thought it was really cute and like gonna go so perfect with like my undergarments that I'm wearing that day I just think it's so cute so I'm glad I get to keep that one and I think this was like 30 bucks for the two of them I've seen so many beautiful ones on Etsy and um like beholden and really everywhere like they have them everywhere and I just decided on this one one night and I'm really glad that I did like I love it and I did try it on and it fits 
perfectly. So I don't know, it's just like a fun little detail to get. And then what else should we do? Let's talk about this. So Julian is our ring bearer. Um, whether he can walk or not, if he can walk, I think he'll try to walk down the aisle. But if not, I think Alex or Michael will like carry him down the aisle with our rings. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But just in case, I got him this little ring bearer pillow. I thought it was really beautiful. So it's from Hobby Lobby. And it's just like a white satin pillow. And it has lace and beading on it. Like I just thought it was so beautiful. And then it has the little strings to tie your rings onto it. Really cute. I literally, this was $16.99 at Hobby Lobby. I bet there are like prettier, nicer ones like on Etsy and stuff, but I just thought this was perfect. And then for my bachelorette party, I got these little balloons that just say Mr. and Mrs. I might just use the Mrs. for my bachelorette party um, as like props. I'm, uh, I didn't even talk about my, my bachelorette party yet, but for my bachelorette party, I'm doing like a little photo shoot with all of my girlfriends. Um, so that'll be fun. So maybe we'll use this as like a prop. Also, I just got a new camera and the screen um, little thing is on the side of my camera. So I'm sorry if I keep looking over there. I need to stop that. I'm still getting used to the camera. So I'm going to try to look at the lens. Um, okay. And then next thing you guys have already seen, but I wanted to show you is my wedding heels. So they are from the brand Nina. They're so beautiful. I love how this kind of has like the upward angle like that I think it's so pretty so they're like a ribboned heel they're about a two and a half inch heel so like they're a really great height for me I'm five foot seven and they have these really beautiful like crystals dangling off they're so comfortable they zip off the back I just love them they go so perfectly with my dress I just love them but like I said they are a low heel and that's kind of important with my dress because how did this go here? Because I'm already kind of tall, so I definitely knew that I wanted a lower heel. But I don't know why I'm a little nervous. I've already tried my dress on and it fits perfectly, but it that's the thing, it fits perfect. Like there's no room for if my dress like raises a little bit. Like I'd have to keep pulling it down and I don't want to worry about that. So I did pick up another pair of heels just in case. Like I think I'll wear those for pictures and stuff, but just for the whole day in general, I got a lower pair of heels. I think this is lower at least. This is a black heel. These are from Nordstrom Rack. They're from the brand 14th and Union. These were super affordable. I just saw them one day and grabbed them because I was like, I'm just nervous. So I'm just a planner. So I want to have a backup plan just in case. So this is the second shoe that I got. But then I thought if I don't wear these, I'll wear them on the honeymoon. They're like really cute summer shoes. So I picked up those just in case. But hopefully I'll be able to get away with wearing the Nina shoes the whole day. Um, what do I want to show next? Let's talk about this Lilash Eyelash Serum. So I don't have my lash extensions on right now. I just hate laying there. The girl I go to, I love, she's one of my closest friends and I don't know what it is, but it gives me such anxiety to have to lay there with my eyes closed. I don't understand why, but like if my eyes could be open, no big deal. Like we talk the whole time, it's no big deal. But having my eyes closed just ooh, gives me such anxiety. I hate it. So I gave myself a break. I might do it again for the wedding day because I know that will just look so beautiful. Um, but in the meantime, I've been using my Lilash Eyelash Serum. I have a whole video on this. I've used it forever. It makes your lashes so unbelievably long, like you're gonna die. I'll link the video down below where I talk about this. I have on a strip lash right now, but my lashes are getting really long and that is because of Lilash. It takes nine weeks to work, but once it works, your lashes are so long and I've gotten so many I used to do bridal makeup I've gotten so many of my brides hooked on this like oh my god it just looks so good got a couple new hair tools so I got the t3 cura Lux um, blow dryer I'm really excited to try this it's white and so beautiful so they were kind enough to send this to me I did not buy this myself but I'm like Oh my gosh, like this is so nice. Like I just can't wait to use this. So I will definitely be testing this out soon and using it in a video. And then to go along with that, um, they reach they reach out to me and they're like, we want to send you the curling or the uh, blow dryer. But I was like, can I have the curling ones too? So they sent me the curling ones. That was so nice for them. I cannot wait to use these. So this is the trio. Um, so it comes with like one handle and then the three different um, barrels so I will definitely be testing these out and using these before my wedding day I 
can almost guarantee I'm going to use these on my wedding day because I feel like these are just the best and everyone that I know that has these just loves these so I will definitely review these for you guys I've gotten like dupes of them before and I've tried like the Bellamy um, curling ones I love Bellamy too but I've just seen so many amazing things about the T3 so I'm so excited to have these in my hands and review them for you guys so make sure you guys stay tuned for a video where I'm going to review those and really test them out okay so I saved the two best things for last and you guys are going to just love them so the first thing is a card box um, I got this from a seller on Etsy it's just an acrylic card box so beautiful so it says mr and mrs borman and then established 2019 so beautiful i just love it so much and it comes with a actual lock and key the key is somewhere safe um so i will list the seller and all their info down below um but she emailed me and she was like we would love to send this to you and me and brett were like like oh my gosh it's so stunning like i just love it and we did pick out a card box that we were just going to rent, but this like doesn't even compare. Like it's just so stunning. So in our new house, I'm like, we have to find a way to use this because it's just so pretty. Like, oh my God, I just thought it was stunning. I'm just so thankful that we get to have this as decor on our wedding day. It's so pretty. So this does open up and there is a little card slot right here, but I just thought it was so beautiful and you can totally customize this. You can do tons of different designs, tons of different colors. We just did the gold but I just thought this was so amazing so I love Etsy I've been loving Etsy um, and I actually just ordered a couple things today so there will be more hauls coming um, but I just wanted to get one up for you guys so I think I might have saved the best for last <laughs> so I treated myself a little bit and I got a new makeup bag for the wedding day is this it yes okay so Makeup is like obviously like the thing that I love, like the thing I'm like so excited about doing is my own makeup and my own hair. So if you didn't know, I'm doing my own makeup and hair and I'm just so excited. Like I can't, maybe one time in my life someone has done my full face of makeup and it was probably my sister. Um, but any other time anyone has ever touched my face, like I hate it. Like I just hate when people put, put makeup on me. Like I know what I like on me. I just know what looks best on me in my opinion. Like someone else might be like, oh my God, let me fix you. But in my opinion, I like the way that I do it and I'm so picky. But also I'm too nice where if anyone were to do my hair or my makeup, I'd be like, oh yeah, I love it. And I actually don't like it, but I'm just too nice to say anything. So I decided it would be the best for me to do my own hair and makeup that day. So I decided to treat myself to a makeup bag. So let me show you the whole packaging. It's just so cute. I got this around Christmas time. I got it a while ago. But I've kept it in the box because I haven't wanted to use it until then. But it comes with the little, um, what's this called? Dust bag. And then this is the one that I got. I don't know what it's called. I'm sorry. I literally just went and bought it on a whim one day. I think it's around like 300 I feel like that's a pretty affordable price for Louis Vuitton for a makeup bag hell no like <laughs> this would be like 40 bucks at target you know what i mean not even but for the designer and for the quality i was like oh man it's so beautiful so then the inside is just so beautiful it's like that tan color i just can't wait to use it so in here i feel like my phone would fit in here my lipstick lip glosses um lip liners powder blush all that kind of stuff i feel like i could throw a few makeup products in here and then my phone and then just like kind of keep this near me all day i obviously won't carry it down the aisle with me or anything but it would be nice to like have it at my little table and stuff like that um or at least have alex carry it for me or somebody <laughs> or brett but yeah i just thought it was so beautiful so i'm so glad i could treat myself to that um so Moving forward, I want to film a video about all the gifts that I've gotten for everybody because I've gotten so many gifts for so many people and I want to share it all, but I wouldn't be able to post it until after our wedding day. So let me know if that's okay with you guys and I will definitely film all that once I get them all around. Um, and I am going to film a haul of all of my clothes that I got for wedding day things. So keep your eyes out for that. And then the rest of the things that I've ordered that have like random wedding day things, I'll film another haul when that all gets here. <laughs> so I'm just trying to stay organized, stay on top of things. 
and I'm just so thankful. So I'm having so much fun. I feel like this is just a fun video. Like a lot of my videos are about like marriage prep and just like really like diving deep into like my feelings and all that kind of stuff. So I just wanted to throw in like a lighthearted random video for you guys. But like I said, none of this is needed to have a wedding day. Skip it all. Go marry the love of your life and have the best day ever. You don't need any of this, but I'm just excited to share it all with you. So let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more wedding day hauls from me and wedding series videos. I have quite a few lined up that I hope you guys love. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video.